Hi, I'm Liz Frankie, and I'm a producer on Minor Setback. Can you tell me a little bit about your film? Yes, it's a short film uh, that's in Shorts Block 4 that's going to be playing on Wednesday and Thursday at the Dallas International Film Festival. And it's a 10-minute um, comedic short film about two high school teenage girls who um, <laughs> are dying to have a day at the beach. They have, um, I guess you'd say, an uncharacteristically unique uh, teenage life in the fact that they're working at a local pancake house, they're living with some friends on their own, and life is not necessarily easy. And so they're kind of planning this day at the beach, they go to a lot of trouble to do it, and then things don't go as planned, hence the minor setback title. <laughs> awesome. Well, who, who is your talent in the film? Um, the two female leads, uh, Christina Burdett, who is from Dallas, Fort Worth, and Ashley Beckel, who is from Louisiana. Uh, we used Buffalo Casting here in, in Dallas uh, to help us with the casting of the film. Um, the two main female leads, you know, were very specific roles and so we wanted to make sure we got the two girls that would really bring the film to life. It was important that the audience be rooting for them, it was important that the audience liked them, even if they were kind of involved in some shenanigans and, and so forth, um, so that they had to have some sort of, I don't know, like sweetness and innocence but then at the same time they had to have an edge because they're not your stereotypical standard you know high school students um, and both of the actresses did such a good job uh, their chemistry was great and I, th I think I th we were so pleased um, the film minor setback premiered at South by Southwest last month and we did get lots of comments afterwards about the chemistry between the, the two actresses and, and what a great job they did. And then we've got two other actors um, that played the friends, like the roommates, um, that are from Dallas, and then two other male actors that played police officers. Awesome. So where did you shoot the film? We shot it in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, specifically in Garland and Irving. And Garland is actually where the filmmaker, uh, the writer-director, Augustine Frizzell, uh, where she grew up, and the story is based on her youth. Um, she had a, a uh, unique upbringing. She is the granddaughter of a country western singer, uh, Lefty Frizzell, and so having you know musical, a musical family, um, it was just not very traditional, a tr not a, not a very traditional upbringing. Um, and then as, as she got older into her high school years, you know, it it, had, it was a little tumultuous at times, um, and so. She really wanted to do a story in which you showed the reality of young females in these circumstances, but take a comedic approach to it. Because so often, movies that deal with lower income um, females who are teenagers, who are struggling and have issues, um, it always focuses on the relationship between the parents and the child and how dramatic it is and she wanted to take it from a different angle and, and do a comedy. You see so many films in which you've got these young teenage male protagonists and the, the, all the stuff, the crazy stuff that they do that's comedic but you never see that with females. So I thought that was really neat. I think she's got a unique voice and I and I like the idea of having a fresh take on something and and having this type of story come to life so that's why I was on board with trying to help her bring her vision to life. How did, how did the two of you get together? Um, we basically were introduced by a cinematographer who we both worked with in, in Dallas-Fort Worth and uh, I ended up becoming an executive producer on her previous short film. It was called I Was a Teenage Girl. It premiered at South by Southwest two years ago and at Dallas. And, um, and so then I was an executive producer on that and then I at the time was working on a feature film and I, I wrote a part for her. Both Augustine and I are actresses and filmmakers and so we have a kind of a special bond and then we just hit it off and became really good friends. So I like my friendship with her is greater than the professional relationship. 
um, although I really respect her as a filmmaker and as an actress and I, I want to help encourage and support her in her filmmaking endeavors and she has helped me on mine uh, I had a film treading water that played at that premiered at diff last year and she was a producer on my short film and she also acted in it too so it's really neat to be able to help each other out and even if our our stories are different or our styles are different we both encourage and support one another and I think that's really special awesome well obviously with with her her lineage um, is there any is there any like special music or anything in the in the, in the film or is she definitely has a musical um, sensibilities and so she's got a, a, a neat way of, of using cool music in the right places but it's not there's no focus on music in the in the short film um, one of uh, her husband's producing partners who is also going to be on board producing the feature of this short uh, we're making a feature length version of the of minor setback we hope to shoot it this summer in in Texas in Dallas Fort Worth um, and so I'm gonna continue on as a producer and then Toby Halbrooks and James Johnston who are producing partners with her husband well Toby is a musician as well and so he wrote an original song in the film um, with some other musicians so you know there is definitely there there's always a little musical element to it uh, but the movie does not focus on on, on that on that angle necess well, necessarily the soundtrack can, can can make or break a film sometimes I know. and I, I have seen very few films that that tried to, to, to work without music and I've seen a few that worked really well but it's always good to know you know the, the chops right. behind the music because you know it's it gives you that extra flavor that extra yes knowing you know that, that she knows what she's talking about right and the film is I guess you would call a period piece in the fact that it was um, based in the 90s so we did have wardrobe makeup all of that for the 90s. We had VHS tapes, the big TV, you know, uh, like a, a game, like the Atari type game type of thing. Um, and so when Toby wrote the f f song for the film, it is kind of one of those cheesy ballads from the 90s and it's really really funny like yeah so it, wor it worked out really really well was well, there anything else you'd like to tell our audience about the film that, that, to encourage them to come out and see it I guess the main thing is just you just don't see films like this very often you know it's 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 definitely something that has depth to it like kind of under the surface but it's taking a lighthearted approach and it's fun it's funny um, and I just think the idea of, of supporting a female filmmaker and a, a unique film female voice. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna, let me go step back one more one second. The feature film that you guys are going to make from this one. Yes. That you're going to work on this summer. Yes. Is it going to have the same the, the same uh, talent in it? Uh, that's the plan. Obviously, you know when you shoot something so much later, scheduling is a factor. I know one of the leads is, has moved to um, L.A. Uh, the other female lead, her husband is in the military and so they've been moving around so you never know what's going to happen but we were so pleased with the cast and the crew that we would love to get everyone together you know again and 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 you know continue this journey and the thing that's neat is the short film has a beginning and a middle end but it's one like one day in the whole big picture so it's not a deal where we're just taking the short and stretching it she's got a full feature that she's written and the idea for the feature she's had this idea for this feature based on all the, the experiences from her youth um, for a long time so this kind of gives you a little nice taste of what the what the feature will be like awesome do you have a website that people can go out and check on right now we just have the Facebook page website so you know facebook.com backslash minor setback um, but as we gear up for the feature we will definitely create a, uh, an actual website for awesome well thank you very much for talking to me today thank you so much I appreciate it